time to sing and have some fun. We're gonna hear God's word before we're done. We're gonna dance. We're gonna shout. Hello twos and threes, happy summer. I hope you've been enjoying all the sunshine and going to the beach and spending time with family outside. I miss you all so much, but we're hopeful that we'll get to see you very soon. Well, it's time for the big God story. But before we get started, who do we need to call? Hamilton. Okay, <clears throat> let's get ready and use our big kid voices to call up Mr. Hamilton. When I count to three, we'll say, oh Hamilton, here we go. One, two, three. Oh Hamilton, where are you? I wonder if he's at the beach. Maybe he's sleeping? Okay. Let's try one more time. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, Hamilton, where are you? Hello, Hamilton. What are you holding? What is Hamilton holding, friends? He's holding a little bird. Do you guys know what sound a bird makes? Birds can make all sorts of sounds, can't they, Hamilton? Well, I wonder what a bird has to do with our story today. We should get started and find out. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Hamilton? Okay, let's get started. Well, today's story is about someone named Elijah. And Elijah loved God very much, and God loved Elijah. And one day, God told Elijah that there would be no rain. Rain is very important, friends. Without rain, we don't have food grow. We don't have water to drink. And God said there would be no rain. Do you guys want to help me make a rain sound? We can make a rain sound by patting on our legs. Can you guys do that with me? Nice job, friends. Look at this awesome rain sound we're making. Well, God said there would be no rain. And God told Elijah that he would take care of him. Can you guys give yourselves a hug? Elijah wasn't scared because he knew that God takes care of me. Well, there was no rain and God told Elijah that a king named Ahab was going to be very mad about this. And so he told Elijah to run away. Hamilton, do you want to pretend to be Elijah? Okay, Hamilton, run away. Okay, friends, watch Hamilton. He's going to run away and hide. Let me know if you see where he's hiding. Well, Elijah obeyed God and listened and ran away and hid. And you think Elijah might have been scared, but he wasn't because he knew that God would take care of him because God takes care of us, right? Well, after Elijah was hiding, he started to become thirsty because remember, there was no rain. And so God told Elijah to go to a river and drink water there. Elijah, do you wanna come drink some water? Okay. So Elijah went to the river and drank water. And that was because God took care of him and God takes care of us, right friends? Well, water isn't enough to live on, is it? And Elijah started to become hungry. Do you think he was afraid? No, because he knew that God would take care of him. And God fed Elijah in a very unusual way. Do you know how God fed Elijah? He sent ravens to feed him. What's that, Hamilton? Your bird? 
That's right, friends. Do you know what a raven is? It's a black bird, just like Hamilton's bird, but it's black. And God sent ravens, I have one right here, and they brought Elijah food. They brought him bread. You ready for some bread, Elijah? All right, eat your bread up. <laughs> and they brought Elijah meat. And Elijah was fed and taken care of that way because he knew that God takes care of us, right? This is a great story about how Elijah listened and obeyed God, even though he wasn't, it sounded maybe a little scary to go hide and there was no rain, but Elijah knew that God was going to take care of him. Do you know what, friends? God takes care of us, doesn't he? God takes care of us by giving people to us who love us so much, who work and bring home food so that we can eat. We all have a home to live in so that we're dry in the summer and the winter. And God gave us the church, right? And when we're in the church, we have friends and teachers who love us and help us grow in our faith. These are just some of the many ways that God takes care of us. So I encourage you today to talk with the people who are watching this video with you about how God has taken care of you and about how God has taken care of them. I love you guys so much and we'll see you next week for our Big God Story. Goodbye!